This, this is a great little game. Magicka came literally out of nowhere and sold 30,000 copies in less than 24 hours. That's pretty damn good coming from an independent developer. And it delivers what I enjoy the most, four player cooperative campaign through the entire single player experience. For only 10 freaking dollars, this game packed a massive amount of value. The great thing about the game is how much fun it is to play. That is, once you get past the extremely awkward controls. Oh, see, so you don't have to hold them? Woo! <laughs> so awkward that it was initially sapping all of the fun out of the game for me. But hang in there, once you get past the steep learning curve of the controls, you'll be queuing up magic attacks and combining spells like you were a natural. And there's actually a bigger sense of achievement when you figure out how all this stuff works. And to be honest, it's not all that complicated. You got your spells mapped to eight keyboard buttons. Q, W, E, and R keys, and also the A, S, D, and F keys. Now you could queue up five of these spells, like say for example the same of a particular spell five times to make it a more powerful version. Or you can mix and match the spells as you discover new and interesting spells that these things combine to create. Half the fun of the game is discovering them all. My favorite and a really powerful one that I discovered is ice, which is a combination of water and cold. So it goes ice, 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 and earth. It's likely the most powerful spell in the game, at least that I've seen so far. A one hit kill for most little dudes and it takes down bosses like that. The hell? Now in addition to the normal spells, there's also special spells that need to be learned through spell books. And you can execute these with uh, the space go. bar button. So for example, reviving your ally who's gonna die a lot. And also environment effects like a blizzard or a lightning strike. Now the game is made even better by the fact that it is filled with comedy and enough pop culture references to make your head spin. You'll be smiling the entire time. I flew off screen. <laughs> Star Wars reference. <laughs> Other games try way too hard to be funny, but this game just gets the right amount of Goofy. And I know Goofy. Perk out a troller man passing around. They're a madner. Madner? <laughs> <laughs> I should care. He <laughs> will use a trick trick blood to blood. Oh god, are you serious? Nick, you're just a moody harbinger. Leave a harbinger to hide our ransom for crime. Okay. He's <laughs> about to do the Sparta thing. <laughs> The characters even speak gibberish that kind of sounds like Swedish, or at least what we Americans oh, think Swedish should probably sound like, because it's from a Swedish developer. Woo! Surrender! We started Dunka Dunka Redan, and you're rid of your house rooster. Then, Tari, Bailey's special clipper tune, you may rooster. Dig Ramner, you got Bonita! You can actually hear like the the dance influences in the music from the sw Swedish dance group. <laughs> now, in addition to the spells, you can also find some really cool replacement weapons like more powerful swords, new mage staffs, and even an M60. Stand back, children! I put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put screw it!
There's so much good about Magic, I feel like a criminal for only paying $10. And there's also a challenge mode that has you fighting different waves of enemies oh, with different features depending on what arena you're playing in. And I also got a really good feeling that there's some awesome DLC coming our way. There's just one, one huge problem with the game. The elephant in the room that needs to be mentioned. You see, its release on Steam at least was a bit of a disaster. The multiplayer bugs, a few single player bugs. You would start the game, you would have fun, and then all of a sudden, shit would break and you're just like, I, what is happening here? Why is this freezing? Why can't I play? Why can't I connect with my friends? Why can't I connect to a game? I'm freezing up. The game just wiped my save data. What the hell is going on? What the hell is happening? There was this one guy on screen that we didn't see. He was on screen. Okay, this is a big bug issue they have with enemies not coming on screen and yeah. just expecting you know, another. That's what she said. But the thing is, it, it was on screen. <laughs> Actually, Amanda? Guess <laughs> <laughs> what? The game has yet another bug. It will not enter the cutscene because this villager here. This bug? Yeah, I'm recording it with my camera though because like I cannot take that much fraps footage of these constant bugs. And the game just crashed to the desktop. Yeah, same here. I, I, I fucking hate. Yeah, mine did too. Oh, this yeah. game, this game has given me more like stress than. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty bad. the The conditions it's in. If you if you're trying to play multiplayer, it's it's nearly impossible. It will constantly crash. It will constantly have bugs. And you know, I wanted to give this game like a nine or a ten, but I think I've had enough at this point. I don't know what to say about a game that releases with this many bugs and then yes, they're patching it every day, and I do appreciate that. But you should have never released it. Um, not, not with multiplayer. Not, not, not like that. No, uh, not at all. From what I read, the single player version is, like, fine. There's no problems at all. Ne never any crashes. Yeah, well. It's just multiplayer. Alright. That's about it. all I have to say about that. Yeah. That's a damn shame. Since its release, the developers have been releasing very regular patches almost every day. Some helping, others seeming like it made the game worse, at, at least for me. I'm not joking when I say that I initially spent more time trying to get into a game and fixing the game's issues and working around the game's crashing and spending time on the Steam forums figuring out if other people had these same problems. More time spent doing that than actually playing the game. It was incredibly frustrating, especially knowing that there's a good game under all this. However, recent fixes has returned the game to stability, and that's why I'd like to give this game two final verdicts. The first one for the initial release, which was a buggy multiplayer mess. Now the single player was relatively stable, so it scores a 6 out of 10, even with all of its issues, slightly above average. Now since then, they've been fixing the game on a regular basis, they promise more patches are on the way. Now if I could play this game without any issues at all, being the great value that it is, at only $10, and being kind of on a long adventure with some really fun gameplay, I'd have to rate this game a 9 out of 10 when all the issues are taken care of. Now I could have even rated it a 10 out of 10, but it is held back a little bit by its controls and some questionable design decisions but nothing that takes away too much from the fun of the game. And if you check back in a few days or weeks, this game should be good to go with an official badass seal of approval. I'm so happy to share a good game with you guys. Buy this game. When it's fixed. When it's fixed, buy this game. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. The Black Mage is the most powerful. Ah, screw it! Try lightning, lightning, fire 
arcane lightning. Oh!